here you will learn data winding and mbbm architecture through a simple example so let's get started first we create our project select empty activity click on next name of your application i'm selecting language java and click on finish so before the starting first we understand what is data winding data winding library is a support library that allow you to wind ui component in your layout to data sources in your app using a declarative format rather than programmatically so usually what we do in android development is creating a ui and setting the data to view in activity fragments etc so it create lots of boilerplate code so data winding what data winding do data winding reduces boilerplate code in your business logic that you generally write to sync the ui when new data is available so by using data winding you can reduce boilerplate codes for example this is an xml file and suppose you will create a text box inside this xml file what will you have to do in the main activity dot java here you have to use find view by id to get the reference from the xml file so every time you create the find view by id for every controls so it creates a lot of boilerplate codes so to reduce this we use data winding so to get start with data winding you need to enable this feature in your android project first so open will.gradle app level and here we enable data winding under android module so inside the android enable our data winding write this code to enable your data winding and we add some required dependency as well so here we add some required dependencies i'll provide in description box now click on sync now so in this example we want to display a employee name so what we generally do we display name in a text box using set text method but insist of me manually calling set text for each employee data winding allow us to wind the the value automatically so first what we do open your xml file and to enable data winding in your layout the root element should start with layout tag this is our root element we paste this code inside the layout now inside this layout we add data tag and this tag is used to bind the xml controls to our data sources inside this data tag we declare a variable and this variable we declare using a variable this variable tag takes two attribute name and type name can be anything and type should be the object model class so here we have to pass our object model class now we create a package model and inside this model package we create a java class i'll explain later why i create this class now open activity main.xml and here we pass the path of our model class now after declaring this variable we wind this variable to this text view so that whenever we create any changes to this variable it reflect to the text view so this variable is wind with this text view now open your employee.java class and we want to display the name of our employee so here we declare a variable name of type string 
And first we create a constructor. Now we create get the setter. So this is our model class. And the purpose of this class is to hold the data of the application. So it cannot directly interact with the view. It exposes the data to the view model. So here we create a view model class. First, we create a package. And inside this package, we create a Java class. This is our view model class, which is act as a link between the model and the view. And is responsible for transferring the data from the model and it provides the data to the view. So view model class and this class act as a link between the model and the view and it takes the data from the model class this employee class which is our model class and transfer the data to the view our main activity is our view so here we create a package view and move our activity class inside this view package is not showing it moving to the view model so click on build clean project now click on rebuild so here you can see the activity class inside the view now open view model data class So this class extends Android view model. Now we create object of our model class. And here we pass the name. Then we create a method to get the employee information from our model class. As I said earlier, this view model takes the data from the model and transfer to the view. So here, now open active main activity dot java class so inside this main activity class we complete our binding step as inside this here we use data tag to wind ui controls to the data source in main activity dot java we use activity main binding This is our generated class. This class holds all the bindings from the layout properties to the layout views and know how to assign value for the binding expressions. Here we set our view. Remove this. After that, we create object of our view model class. View model is worked as a provider which take the data from the model and transfer to the view. So that's why here we use view model provider so this view model class take the data from the model and pass the data to the view using binding so here we use main binding object and set the employee information that will reflect to the text box. Here you can see we get the data from the model and using binding 
we transfer the data to the view. I hope you understand what is data mining and MBBM architecture. Here, I'll explain through a simple example. So this view model data class work as a link between our view and model class. It takes the data from the model and transfer to the view using winding. Model class cannot directly interact with the view. So this model class observes the data through view model. Now run the project and you can see the output. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you.